Alright people, welcome back to some more d and commentary. So once again, we have a Mega Chaos here. Hi, Omega Chaos here again. Oh, so Zephra. Yep, Zephra. Pretty interesting tech. Damn, he's like, nope, get that out of here. Are they good? Mm, and not really as good as the R-Stripes individually, of course. Damn, this man, this DBZ overlord, 45 or 3 inches. Well, yeah, DBZ. They require quite a lot of setup before you can really do your amazing plays. Mm, okay. DBZ overlord at 11.65, and then Cap Jack. Not Captain, just Cap Jack. With 6.87? Okay, so, wait, he's getting something else, I'm assuming? Look like he was pendulum summoning it. Nope, oh, he's gonna grab him. Like that. Yeah, it seemed like it. Okay, then he's gonna summon that New Exiton guy. <laughs> and just attacking, of course. This card's no summon so you can target one other in your mantra and put them in one set card. Damn, and really? Just quit, lol. Wow, you must open up terrible. You're like, oh, well, then these will protect me, then some of the 19 beaters, you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> Laws. Mm. I mean, you open up with MST and Vanity, so it's not terrible, man. It seems like maybe you were a little bit inconsistent on the monster half. Yeah, I didn't even see what that person was playing. Maybe that's the reason why he scooped it up, so he didn't have to reveal it. Yep. What's with the Cliffords? But of course, uh, most decks play my it's emptiness. Yeah, yeah, I miss Team Vayne's emptiness, that's not enough to reveal the deck at all. Does this man just do the same exact play? <laughs> wow. Uh, I, I, you know what, I'm not sure if I could chuck that up in bad hand. I might say your deck is just inconsistent. With that rating. Yeah, with that rating, your hand, your deck is just looking inconsistent. It's your monster count. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've gotten screwed over by DM a handful of times, but I don't think I ever got screwed over that many times. Oh, now he's just going to end it. MST again. Yeah, no, this duel is looking real familiar. <laughs> and then he's going to flip up his vanities. <laughs> <laughs> that would be very funny. Okay, now that I missed him. Damn, it says no fucking pendulum summoning for you. Why would you do that? Why would you destroy a different scale? I would have destroyed the same scale. Another one. Seriously, you're gonna get it. Yeah, I would destroy the same exact scale. Damn. Damn, man. All he had was monsters. So, I guess he's gonna go ahead and yep and get his counter trap. And can sink me to level 9. Yep. If they want to. Seems like exactly what he's gonna do. Oh wow, all that cards. Got him! <laughs> okay, I guess. I guess he's like, this is the this is the rank 9 for me. Like, okay. He's gonna go ahead and tribute his 31 fucking beater just to pick up. Wow. Oh, it's Necros. Wow, and you're opening up like that? You're supposed to be one of the most consistent decks in the game right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> On so many searchers. Are you really gonna lose to... Sephra? Look at, look at, look at that, uh... Look at that deck or Zephyr monster. He's just looking at you like, yeah, I'm on this side now. <laughs> well... Wow. Salt. Wow. <laughs> Dude, you need to fix your negatives that... Whatever you're doing, because you have how many searcher cards? You're supposed to be so consistent that you can make your hand, not just brick like that. That was sad. Uh -huh. Yep. Go get another one, and that was like a really quick match. They're back. Alright, we are back. So we have Cat D Call with 1429 and wings owl with 6 
41, but he had some experience, so. So, hopefully this is a good, consistent duel. Oh, burning abyss. Yeah, burning abyss. Okay, show me what you got. Very boring deck. I, I still feel like they're falling off. I mean, that's just me personally. Yeah, that's true, I guess. Because of the bad Necros matchup, mostly. Oh, then. wow. Be a mirror no. match. Wow, seriously. With Regeki Break. Really? Regeki Break? You know, there's a it's lot... It's not a bad card against uh, some decks, like Click Keyforts, of course. <sighs> and just destroy the Keyforts scout. Yeah. And it's not terrible against Necros, either. Oh, damn. Set that down by Libic, no effect. Damn. It's just fucking him up. <laughs> you go ahead and get your tour guide, obviously. Yeah, that one tour guide. Yep. And this, this deck is kind of fell off consistency wise. I swear to god, every time I fucking hit coins. They gotta make like the most noise in the goddamn world. <laughs> yeah, it happens. <laughs> I, 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 Thankfully, I, I live alone, so that's not the problem. Problem for me. Oh, you're so lucky. Yeah. I'm not alone. <laughs> okay. I wonder if he's gonna hit him with the fire light. Is he getting set up for that? Of course, going for Dante. Burning up is pretty much his Dante to attack. Oh, yeah. That's, That's probably their biggest problem. Cause if they don't Dante. play the rank up version, of course. Who is that? Uh, is that Libic or Farfa? No, it was, it was Farfa. It was Farfa. I don't know. They all look the same to me. That's racist. <laughs> See, that's, that's the problem. This deck didn't rely on Dante so much, and they'd be a little bit more consistent. Stop milling all their good cards all the damn time. Who the fuck? Mm. Oh, wow. He actually plays Barbar. It's not a bad card. It's 1700 attack Peter, and uh, has a nice burn effect to finish the duel. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I guess. <laughs> Whew. This swing guy, he is getting, he is getting good stuff. Yeah, pretty much. You gonna use bar bar effect? Nah, alright. So, yeah, no point to it currently. Yep, get that scarm out of here. Alright, cat, let's see what you do. The power of Denklaw. Yeah, Dark Law is pretty powerful. Mm-hmm. And Toner as well. So go ahead and slap the Downer Dimension. Gives us a stir off the Skarm. Okay. Is this it? Four cards in hand. You got that Regeki? There it is. Of course. Uh, <laughs> of course he does. Oh, uh, Duh. Come on. Welcome to welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh. Welcome to the number generator. <laughs> Mathematician. Okay. I'm just the biggest fan of playing Mathematician in BA. Yeah, same here. It's not really that good. Mm -mm. Damn, it was only good cool in the beginning when yeah. the Burning Abyss was released. Yeah, when they only had the monsters pretty much. Oh, that card, interesting in Burning Abyss. Uh huh. Makes milling a little bit more bearable. Yep, that's true. Still a dead draw in the deck. Yep. <laughs> I've just got to break it. Alright, uh, no draw for you. Guess that's where Card Trooper sh shines over a uh, mathematician. So he only gets his draw effect when he's drawn by battle. <laughs> okay. Are you gonna use your pedo pedo? Mm 
So it's gonna take the 16. Take another 16. But right now, is it really worth it to use the pedal pedal? Because if you destroy one of them, you'll come from the graveyard and then you get hit again, so. What are you thinking? Uh, I wouldn't. He's looking in the grave as soon as there's anything that's beefy enough to take him out. <laughs> I don't know if you can summon like Barba or something. Oh, actually use it. Okay. Is that on the first attack or? I don't know when you're second playing. Second one, that. probably. It seemed, seemed like the second one. I don't know. Maybe he'll be like, "Oh, you didn't give me a chance." Like, you, don't you gotta take the damage first? Okay, I'm just assuming that he's gonna do it on the first attack. Yeah, possibly. Then of course goes for another Dante. Of course, it's Dante dot deck. So three. exciting. Because why the fuck not? Terrible mills. No surprise <laughs> there. Running that galaxy cyclone. That cyclone for. The card would never be better than MST. Like stop. Damn, why is it so expensive? It's because it's because the secret trade in the in the core set oh that my... is pretty popular. Oh my god. I'm not gonna pay it's fucking money cards in the set. I'm not gonna pay forty four dollars for a goddamn Galaxy Star Club when MSC is at three and it's easy. Yeah, exactly. No, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> if MST got banned, then maybe we could talk. <laughs> but hell no. Galaxy Star Club is spell speed one that automatically automatically makes it worse than MST. And the face up spell and travel card scene hasn't happened as of late. Except if you're playing yeah, Cleese. Yeah, not that shame or. If you're playing fucking Cleese, then yeah. That's just they got their new skill drain. Yeah, lose one turn. It's pretty annoying card for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Blow that card up. Thinking. You wanna go ahead and just chain it? Nope. What's up with the Grigeki breaks? New trend, I guess. I guess. New, I'm used to seeing Karma cuts and and uh, Phoenix Wingwind blasts. The Geki break? Hmm. No. The P1 in effect, you would say chain. Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just make the, the most grossest noise that they could possibly make. <laughs> swear Lots. to God. I was like, I'm going to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to record. No one's going to be awake or they're going to be gone. No. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Is it gonna sit here looking like an idiot? Wait. Oh, so you can target Bob Watson back, Bob Watson is gonna die and then you're gonna banish? I guess. Didn't yep. he have a Dante in there? Yeah, I think so. Oh, let's see. Couldn't you just detach the server summon back to Dante and then Dante <laughs> attack too? It's in game anyway. Damn, Wings, Wings had the answer. He, he used the all card guy Regeki to steal one. And not even Regeki can save you. I mean, it saved him, but Cap just didn't have it. Wings had it all. <laughs> Alright, let me pause the video. I'm turning down siding. Alright, so let's just start off with the special summon to Farfa. Almost a minion Skarm. Go for Dante, go for Dante, go for Dante, 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 Dante. Everybody in this deck is Dante. They had to make the fusion yep, monster Dante. Like, right, come on, it has to be Dante. Damn, see? It's shit like that. Like that. That makes Burning Abyss bad. Yeah, because they rel rely on 
and a milling. Stop with the damn milling. Dante is the leader and so good in the deck. All you need is just the two Burning Abyss monsters. You don't need like the Burning Abyss one tuner and for, you know, Virgil. So maybe there are more tuners in this rubric. Maybe they can rely on Virgil a bit more. That'd be much better. Damn, he's like breaking skill. Where's the skill? Your top deck randomized to a guy. Lols. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Blind Phoenix. No, no, Blind Phoenix, I guess. Um, summon Sir and then hit him with that Fire Lake. Blow up them three cards there in the end phase. Do they play Fire Lake as much? Mm, not that much anymore, I guess. It better not be a fire lake face down because you know there's multiple steps in the end phase. I would have still I would have done it then. There goes Regeki, there goes Minecraft. No bait. Oh, there goes a nice chunk out of your life points, Wings. Unless you got something. Nope. Oh. So he just moves that turd out of the way, then the turd guy's gonna come back, and then he still can't do anything. Damn. Yep. See the reliance on Dante? Too strong. It just makes it like very linear. Yeah, it does. And boring. Mm hmm. There's just so many decks I would take off in daily duels at this point, it's because they're boring. Yeah, like Clifford's and Burning Abyss and... I don't mind Cleese. I still hate them so much. <laughs> I don't mind Cleese. I'm, I don't like Burning Abyss, I don't like... Damn. Damn. Your strap hole, okay. interesting. Yeah, Sir is still killed. Um, Cyber Dragon, especially. Like, yeah, that's infinity that's dot decks. Just like okay, I get it. I can make infinity. Yay! And what do you think about the new Odish version that is like infinity pretty much? If you want to run it in a pendulum based deck, you pretty much have to run it in like what that magician deck. Yep. That's fine. Now that deck is pretty much broken as hell. <laughs> Thanks to that card. So it's like. Cards in your pendulum monsters in your extra deck. Yeah, you can just shuffle one of them to the deck, and then you can just negate anything once per turn. Okay. Is it once per turn? Yep. Okay. Otherwise, it will be even more broken. <laughs> yeah. You know how much life points, but you're gonna go ahead and just ram that tour guide, get off the field. Okay. I think the only reason why you'd summon that attack mode is because you're planning on turning it into Danclaw. Then you can just summon the new Odai's fusion from the Exodus like, for free when the Absolute Dragon is destroyed, which is even more broken. Oh, really? You can do that? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much, lol. Oh, damn. <laughs> Alright. Burning Abyss is a weird deck. They they mill with the hell out of themselves of Dante, yet they run a lot of backwards. It's just, it's just weird. Yep. I don't know, the Burning Abyss deck I dueled in regionals. Torrential. Okay. Okay. Let's call one card and then tug it one. He, mm. he summons, 
you chain free swimming blast, you pay cost of discarding the card and targeting the card, the opponent controls, he chains with torrental. It's not that hard. Chain resolves backwards, so you get torrental, you already Phoenix loses this target, and then all your burning abyss cards go off because they don't miss timing ever, so Yep. What what is he doing? What? <laughs> Wind after summon. What? When, when is there a game stand after summon? He goes summon. Response. There's no open game state where you can just Phoenix Wind and Blast whenever you feel like it. Oh, I'm gonna do it after summon. Like, when after summon? You can't just play cards whenever you want, people. <laughs> I guess when you walk into DN on duel, you just gotta tell him open game state or closed game state. Because I'm confused when you're activating that Phoenix Woman Blast. When is there an opportunity? Like, the in after the monster is summoned, but, like... So, the summon has resolved, so then you can, you can just play it whenever you want. Like, am I the only one that's confused there? Yeah, whatever. Because it seems like on summon to me. Okay, now he's just gonna play Torrental and summon a Graph. And now he's gonna fire like you. Yep. Wow, skill train main deck in Burning Abyss, what the fuck is that? <laughs> so random. What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, I'm not even uh, Someone put a comment. And they asked, and one of my Yubelets, they're like, why no Limit Reverse? It gets you a free tear. Bitch, you don't <laughs> think I'm not running Limit Reverse? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much a staple for Yubel decks. Seriously? I'll like, not run it. Like, oh. <coughs> oh my god, so bad. Did he already use Graph? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, this this is a longer match. Yeah, this is a long duel. I hope Wings wins well, just so we don't have to go to That's what you can expect three. from a Burning Abyss mirror match. Oh my god. It's too much luck. I can't handle it. <laughs> wow, well, okay. Now it's just down to top decking. Who can sack the opponent better? Why would it be? Nigga, you're the one that put. <sighs> oh, that's that's far. Why would it be far for you? Just you just think someone will blast the, the, <laughs> the, 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 the right on top of the deck last turn. That's man, I forgot. All right, go. Apparently, we're going to game three. I didn't want to, but we are. So you're back again. I like going so fast. <laughs> Wow, so, uh, yeah, that first turn wriggle. <clears throat> you don't see that often. Yeah, true, because, because it's not good at all the first turn. Like, what are you gonna do with him? You gonna play some music for him or something? <laughs> Go ahead and space, get rid of that, uh, oh, debunk. Oh, debunk. I haven't seen that card in a cool minute. I mean, that card was like the side cards of all side cards. Yes. And then Dark Hole. Yep. Still gets a draw for. Hey, don't be mad. Destruction is popular right now. I wonder if if Necros get so hit so hard that they're not playable anymore, will it turn away from destruction again? Maybe. Because isn't isn't it? Uh, Necros is keeping destruction popular. Yeah, pretty much. Because that deck cares about destruction. But many other decks don't. Yeah, yeah man, this just got this man just special summon, special summon. Like, you want to go ahead and maybe like normal summon one of them so you can get their effect? I guess just wants to go all in and finish this duel. God! <laughs> 
I'm gonna cut him a cut. Damn! And you get none of their effects. Oh, you want to know what's my Damn! Whoo! This duel. <laughs> They're just burning but through me. Let's so. just stop the king, the king again. Yep. Ooh. A top deck for foolish, for mm -hmm. now. <laughs> top deck foolish. Power. Okay. Smack him down with tour guy. Oh, that pedal pedal. What a great card to top deck. Oh, sir. Oh, wow, that wow, is wow, game. Wow, Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, the luck was too strong. <laughs> wow. Wow. I am the that beyond. first turn version worked out after all. Yep. Who would have thunk? <laughs> all right. So we're gonna go ahead and call that episode of the Endo Commentary. So thank you, man. Chaos for joining me. No problem, glad to, glad to join as always. So if you guys do not know, Omega Chaos is actually doing a and a so I will link it in the description. You guys go yep. there and post some questions that are not offensive. I'm trusting yep. you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I know nice. you guys are going to do something offensive. <laughs> oh, anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and we will see you guys tomorrow with some more d commentary.